Hello, uh, my name is Diego Hernandez. Uh, and first of all, I want to thank you for this invitation to share with you my views on discourse analysis. Discourse analysis is a, is a methodolog methodological tool mainly to analyze uh, text and documents. That's why we're not going to try to, uh, to find uh, out how the text was produced according to the historical or sociological or political context, but we are going to focus on the text itself. Uh, that means that we are going to focus on how the problem was represented, how uh, the topic is presented, how the people in, in the document is framed, how the, the narrative uh, of, uh, of the document is presented. So that's, that's what we are going really to do. Yeah, and, and of course, when, a, when a, an author or a writer uh, writes a document, uh, he or she is making a lot of choices. Choices refer to what uh, terms uh, they, are using, they are using, uh, what terms are excluded, what, what facts are uh, included in the research or in the paper, what, what uh, facts are absent. Etc. So it's it's very it's a very challenging and interesting uh, uh, exercise. Uh, there is a lot of, a, big, a big set of uh, different uh, methods to uh, approach discourse analysis. So we are going to make an overview of some of them of of, of the most important of them, and I hope if it will be a, a, a useful tool in the case of, of uh, 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 your future research. Of course, uh, this methodology can be used combined with other methods. It's one of the possibilities, but uh, in uh, our specific uh, case, we are going to focus on, on this, on this analyze, analysis, of, uh, analysis of, uh, of texts and documents. So I hope that we enjoy this uh, these meetings and um, it's going to be very challenging because you are um, uh, you are in distant from me but i hope that i can help you to to uh, arrive to, to some uh, conclusions and i hope that it could be useful for you uh, well i hope that we meet soon and have a nice day bye